Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. We are live. Uh, welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs. My name is David and I'm going to do the live tonight again uh, because I was just live last Wednesday. But since Elsa is enjoying a couple of days in nature, I'm here. So good to see you all. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, I'm just going to wait and see until I get some reactions. Hey, Wilma, good evening. Uh, Tracy is here as well. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Ona. Good to see you all. Welcome, everybody. Um, oh, lots of people coming in all of a sudden. Sylvia, Ans, Carla, good to see you all. Well, as I said, Els is enjoying a couple of days in nature and uh, she's not sure she's having internet, so I'm not sure she's going to be joining us tonight. Um, but we all want that for her, right? Are you driving back now, Els? Good. Oh, you're going to, well, let's hope you enjoy the life. Um, um, let me see. Well, hi, Els. Welcome. Hi Lois, Jonah. I've already said hi. I'm busy this week. Yes, you can say that, but I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a blast. So uh, uh, that's the most important thing, right? Well, before we start, let's say like, share and comment to be able to win a $50 gift certificate. Yes, $50. Wow, that's a lot of money. <coughs> so um, yeah, let's do that and mention it in the comments so we all know uh, that you did it and then Anya can pick the winner quite easily. Um, because Facebook, to be honest, is sometimes a nightmare to figure out who shared, etc. So come, mention it in the comments. Hi Femke, hi Angela, um, hi Saskia. Hello everybody. Good to see you all. Good that you're all here. We're going to have some fun with the sidekick today. What's that? I'm hearing something fall. Oh well, never mind. Uh, Everything is still working, so we're good. Um, hi, Johan. Welcome. Mercedes, hi. Good to see everybody. Well, um, today I think in my craft room it's about 40 degrees Celsius. It's blooming hot. So if I start sweating, that's why. If I start rambling, that's why. Well, rambling more than I normally do because uh, you know me by now. So what are we going to do tonight? Let me see. Uh, we're going to be working in the Sidekick Planner and we're going to use the new Christmas is here dies and the new paper pack. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to be playing with uh, some inks, etc. I will switch the camera down to my uh, workstation so you can see what we're doing. Um, here's the Sidekick Planner, the lovely black one. In the US it's already available, in the Netherlands uh, or in Europe we still have to be patient, but it, it will come, it will come, I promise you. And it's lovely, it's nice black, look at that nice pattern on there, ostrich pattern it's called I think. So. Yeah, it is blooming hot, Tracy. Uh, same in the UK, I think. Um, so here is that nice uh, center on the beach I did. Uh, this was actually a, a fun joke I did, but yeah, it was fun. Uh, these are some pages I made with the collection already with the paper as well. Love the paper pack. It's, it's fantastic. Um, I think I made these during a live on my, video, on my channel as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, fun pages in the sidekick and we're gonna make some more now. Um, let me put this to the side. Gonna need that a bit later. And then of course we're gonna use this beautiful paper pack. Um, that is the Christmas Lives Here pack, paper pack. Look back to uh, Lisanna's video from last Monday, my video from last Wednesday where I went through all the different pages. Hi Dominique, welcome. Hi Anita. Um, that is going to be a uh, um, uh, today's star of the show. Now, there are so many different kinds of paper in here and I had a hard time choosing. Um, oh, you will start shipping the black ones on Monday. That's fantastic news. And the jeans will be back in stock. Wow. Well, that's another thing. Oh yeah, and another nice surprise on Monday. I know what it is. I know I'm not going to say anything. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to show you anything. I'm not going to say anything. That's for else to do on Monday. So, um, let's get started. I had a, a rough time picking um, what paper to use because I couldn't choose. But I've made my choice and I'm sticking to it. No, no glitters today actually. Well, sort of glitter. Sort, sort of. A little bit. You will see. You will see. Um, what am I going to use today? I'm going to use the Sidekick Essentials 18. And I'm just using part of this die, just a pocket, but I will show you what I uh, uh, will do. Uh, the base page is the Planner Essentials 
uh, sidekick essentials, I should say. Number four. Thank you, Mercedes. Um, bonjour, Marité. So I've used uh, this as a base page. Then I'm going to work with this set. Uh, not going to use this one because I want the door to be able to open. And if you put this on, it will not open. So, um, oh, that's not good, Femke. And I'm going to be working with this one. So lots to work with, lots to do, um, lots of fun happening. So I'm going to put these to the side because I'm going to bring in my splatter box. And in my splatter box, I've got a piece of very thick um, mixed media cardstock. And the reason I'm not using the Elizabeth Craft Designs, and in hindsight, I could have done that because it's not because it can't handle what I'm going to throw at it. Uh, but I just thought because of the color that I'm going to use, it will match the paper better. But in the end, I think the what I'm going to use will cover it up anyway. But I, that's what I did. Um, a little sneak peek is fine. Who said that? Is that else? Well, let's put it this way. I might do a little sneak peek then at the end of this video. You got to hang on and watch till the end. Um, so that's why I'm using this cardstock. I could have done, used the Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, soft finish cardstock, as I said, because that is fantastic. Yeah, I think I just picked it up else. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brand new um, Distress Mica Stains from uh, Tim Holtz that are just released. I just got my hands on them and they are gorgeous. Uh, I tested it out um, and I'm just going to show you what I did. And then uh, I'm going to use the Magic Oven and I've got everything, everything will be cut out. Well, you have to wait until the end, guys. Of course, Elsa, I learned from the best, right? Um, now the thing with these is you need to shake the bejesus out of them, bejesus, but but whatever, you need to shake them well. Yeah, Femke, but I'm only doing it when I have permission from else, nothing else. So um, yeah, I think this one is done, and this one, yeah. How do you know when you're done shaking if there's no goo left at the bottom? That's fairly what it is. Uh, and of course, the first one I'm going to use is a bit more shaking. So, <laughs> that's also smart, Tracy. Um, right, I'm going to spritz out a bit and I'm just going to put some on the paper. Lovely purple paper. And these are Halloween colors, but hey, Halloween, Christmas, what's the difference? Because this green is beautiful green. So I'm just going to spritz that on. And I'm going to take some of this decade. Decade. De 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 How do you say that? I don't know. Decade. D yeah, decade. Just going to put it like that. And then I'm going to take my spray bottle. And I'm just going to spritz it with water and I'm going to take my heat tool. Now the other day somebody asked me because I've got two heat tools. So let me explain why. Um, I've got the Sysix one and I've got this Ranger one. This one is actually a heat tool for drying paint etc. You can use it to melt your embossing powders but since the if you look at the, the tips of it this is very concentrated heat um, and this is much wider. The temperature of both is the same. It's not one heat, one is not he, he, uh, hotter. So David, come on. One is not hotter than the other one, um, but it's just more concentrated heat. And that means with this one, your embossing powder melts quicker. With this one, it takes longer. That's why I've got two, because if you know me by now, I'm very impatient, but for drying paint, this one or, or inks, this one works best. Well, welcome to my world, Belinda. I've been working with Christmas stuff for a while now. So I'm just drying this, taking some paper, because I don't want this goo on the side. But just dab that off. And you know what? This is me in my comfort zone, playing with ink, 
I just love that. I even made my first Christmas card the other day. You haven't seen it yet, but I made it. <laughs> so, I'm just drying this a bit. Just dabbing off the excess. This is a fantastic color. Now, now it's quite light. So, what I will do, and I love that, that you can layer with them. So, I'm going to shake it up again, because that mica sinks to the bottom quite quickly. So, always give it a good shake. I'm just going to layer a bit more over that. Joseph did a very nice video uh, the other day using these as well. So I'm just building up that these colors, just layering them on there. They're great, right? Just spraying some water on so you get some movement because that's what I like. And then in a perfect world you would let this dry naturally. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this to the side, let this bottle dry and, and have fun on its own. Um, and then we're going to come back to that. We're going to let that dry. We're going to watch this ink dry together. No, we're not going to. Um, because that would be like literally like watching paint dry. So. That's that. That's what I'm going to be working with. Um, but of course, I've prepared some bits and bobs. So let me get that in. Because first page we're going to work with is the gift page. And what I did is because I told you I've used part of that. Let me get it. Let me get it. What I did, I've cut out this page. Um, from this beautiful paper because on the other side you see there's this darker paper but it matches beautifully you've had enough summer yeah I don't blame you I've had enough of summer by now um, right going back to this I'm distracted by the comments I've, I've changed my setup a bit so now when I look this way I see the comments immediately uh, they're on my big computer screen uh, but it's distracting me Focus, David, focus. Um, what I did, I've cut out this base page and I trimmed it off right there. So I just had the pocket and then this is going to be my tag. So that's going to be here at the bottom. Then I've got my the top that I've cut off. It's going to be my tag that's going to be in there. So I'm turning this into a tag page. Um, so let's get some tape. And I'm first going to start by putting this uh, onto my card. How do you call that? Page, David. You're making a planner. You're not making a card. So I'm just taking a piece of my tape, putting that at the bottom. There we go. Just putting some little pieces. Am I doing it right? Yes, I'm doing it right. <laughs> I always get confused when things fold over. Like that. Thanks, else. That'll be fine. Like that. And over here. So, that's that done. I'm going to take my tweezers, press this down, make sure it's adhered, and then I will peel off that backing. There we go. So this was like that at the bottom of the page, the other way around, like that. So I trimmed it off using one part as a tag um, and this is going to be the pocket so i'm just going to fold these back into the inside put this together like that fold this together like that so the holes line up there and then i will line up the holes here 
and put it on there, like so. Now we've got a pocket. Cool, right? Um, oh, that's nice, Mrs. Klaus. Um, what am I going to do next? I need my crocodile because I want to put a um, thingy in there. The hole reinforcer. So, so obviously there's no hole in there. Um, no, I'm going to take this one, but I'm, I made a hole with my crocodile, and now I'm just going to put the hole reinforcer in there. It's coming together. There it is. Then I have a piece of twine left from last week, from the last live I did. You really need to get that paper, else it's fantastic. You will love it, I'm sure. There we go, and I'm just gonna tie a knot here. And I just thought, why not do it? Come on, David. Uh, change it up a bit, instead of having a tag with the middle, use what I got left from that page, and uh, don't waste that beautiful paper turn it into a tag. There we go. Oh yeah, that doesn't work with twine because I've got glue on there. There we go. Page done. <laughs> no, just kidding. <clears throat> I'm just getting started. Um, I don't know actually, it's, it's on its way to the... Uh, does it say wait? I don't know. I can tell you what I paid for it, four ninety five. It's two hundred and five feet. Hashtag ten. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know. Um Right. Now it's time for that magic oven. Because you know the paper we just made? It's now like a miracle. It's dry and it's die cut. And here we have it. Um, look at that shine. It's the mica powder that is in this that's giving you this shine. And I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to peel this off. I've cut this out using the adhesive on the back. And I'm not going to bother peeling everything out because for now that's too much work. It's got the dimension anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up. And I'm just going to stick this down. And as you will see, this will line up beautiful. And I'm just going to trim this little piece off. There. And I love the combination of these colors and the shine with the tag. Um, I love that. So, I've done some more, of course. I've got some gifts that I've cut out of the same paper. So these are gonna be on there. And these are gonna be on the tag holder. Um, and what I've done, and I'm sorry, this is, uh, of course, the stamps are all Elizabeth Craft Designs, but I had to have a go with this new label thingy from Tim Holtz. So th that's what these made. It, it, does, it, it dyes the label, but it also gives it a letterpress and stamps at the same time, but it's really pressed in, so it's really letterpress effect. But these stamps fit on there perfectly. So I'm gonna build this up um, oh, good to know, Denise, that it's, uh, because I was worried there for a second. So, 
um, I'm gonna build this up. This is gonna be behind here. This circle is gonna be behind here. Something like that. This one is gonna be behind here. So you will not see the uh, uh, back of the pocket, but it will make it more firm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this one on first. So let me get my glue and put some glue on the back here. Honora, do you mean the... Send me a message what you need, I will answer you. So that's gonna be on there. Then I'm gonna put this one on here. So I've got the Christmas stamp, the new one, uh, on here. I've also used some older uh, stamps from last year's release. Um, I will show you, but this is from the new one. There we go. Um, do not open until Christmas. Is this one? Thanks, Honora. Uh, it's a CS255. Then I've got the Cozy Days, which is this one. It's the CS256 um, that I've used. Oh, and I've used the Christmas time. Christmas is here as well from that stamp that's on here. Um, maybe I will use this one later on, depending on time. So those are the stamps that I've used for that. <clears throat> now this is drying. Bonjour, Esther. Good to see you. Enjoying your glass wine. Thank you, Esther. You're enjoying your vino. Yeah, that one's going there. I'm just playing around, right? I like that. So it's all it's all stacked together. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a thingy in my throat. And put on the last one. What do you mean, Jeanette? To show items used under page. Because I think I've showed everything I'm using. So, there you go. And then here is the tag. Uh, that obviously I can't put anything on. The idea of my sidekick is I'm going to buy one of these, how do you call them? Mini Polaroid photo cameras. Um, that is going to... Um, uh, give these little photographs. <clears throat> and by the time it's Christmas, I hope uh, to have finished my book. And then I will give this, uh, I will make photos during Christmas Day with that camera. Uh, they, and I will stick them in this the whole day through. And then at the end of the day, I will give this to my mom as a lasting memory of Christmas. So that is the idea. So that's what I'm making now. And um, I'm... Uh, uh, okay, get a grip, David. Um, that's going to be uh, uh, the goal of this book. So I can't put anything on here yet because I don't know where I'm going to put the pictures, etc. Um, but I've got some other things that I'm, I'm going to use on other pages. So that's this one done. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, <laughs> Lenny, that's good to know that it's not me. Right, let's do the other one, because that's going to be fun as well. Um, but I love the, the sidekick pages. Uh, and I love how this one turned out. Now, what I need to do, that's what I'm forgetting. I need to edge this, because, well, that's what I do, right? 
I will be there, else. I will definitely be there. So I'm just giving this a bit of etching because I think that really pops the page. Or pops the, in this case, not the page, but you know what I mean. The tag makes the tag pop off the page. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. That's that. You see what I mean? Really gives it definition. And I'm going to do the same here. Just like that. Because that makes a difference. There we go. Now this page is finished. So here I've got the other set. Let me show you. This is the set with the gifts. And this is the other set. And what I did, I've die cut this out. I've put the main frame on the paper and then this I positioned in the middle. Run it through my die cut machine and bam, we've got this page. Um, thank you guys. What color ink am I using? That is vintage, no, not vintage photo. Freight burlap in the ink version. And while I've got that here, I might as well just do this page. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with this is quite fun. Um, I'm going to make an acetate window behind this. So I've cut out the page. I've cut the holes that are in there. And then I'm going to... Be silent because this is very thin and flimsy and I don't want to rip it. There we go. And this one now. That's going to be fun else. That's going to be real fun. So that's better. I like that when it's edged. Right, the other way around. Uh, that one is going to be on that side. This one's going to be on that side. Yeah, that's the way it should go. I always mess this up, guys. I always mess this up. Right. Um, I've got a piece of acetate here. And I'm going to do that behind this window. Now, how I got this to size, yeah, that's maybe my peanut brain that's uh, um, going to be, didn't get my head around it. So I've cut out this page out of the acetate and then I just cut it uh, out to fit behind this and now it's a perfect fit. So uh, that's going to be on there. Um, now I just got to think, how am I going to do that? Okay, I've got my head around that. Um, nope. I need the smaller one. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. I'm just going to put some uh, tape from, of course, from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Just on the edge here. And that will help me adhere the acetate. No. I'm doing it wrong, but I need paper, uh, need it here as well, so I'm doing it right. Uh, I'm, I'm missing all the comments, guys. Sorry about that. I am sorry about that. But I also need to concentrate on what I'm doing, because otherwise I'm really making a mess. Right. Now I've got to put it on the inside here as well. Because that's where the acetate will be. Now I'm making sense to myself again. 
So I'm hoping I make sense to you guys as well. Uh, Patricia, um, 15th of October, Annette Green is going to do a online uh, workshop, but it's mainly for the US, I think, but correct me if I'm wrong else. Um, I'm not sure actually, I'm saying that, but I don't know. Anyway, she's going to do a workshop with a very nice fun set that's exclusively designed for that workshop uh, by Esther. So, right, peeling this off. There we go. Found my acetate. Luckily, it's shiny because otherwise I would not have been able to see it. I'm going to fold this like this so I can hold it. And I'm just lining it up. Now, that's hard to see. Um, I'm going to line it up like this. And then I'm going to... Yay! Did it! So, we've got an acetate window. Cool, right? No, it's going to be like that. Keep it like this, David. So, that's going to be how it folds. Then, what I've done, I've cut out these star elements, or snow elements, or whatever you want to call them, from that magic oven paper that I've just made in the beginning. Uh, and I've cut that out using the adhesive on the back. And I'm just going to put that right in the middle of this page. Like that. And this one's going to be at the top. Like that. The last one, well, he probably will have some uh, of these Micah Saints coming for Christmas, but I think these are fantastic colors for Christmas as well. And I think they match the paper actually very nicely, uh, but I'm pretty sure he will have uh, Belinda. So, that's pretty, right? I think it is. Look at that. Love that effect. So next I'm going, I keep checking. This is going to be on that side. Yeah, okay. Still doing it right. <laughs> now this has to go onto that page. So again, I'm peeling off this um, backing. Just folding it like that on that side. And the same here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the holes. There, I did it the wrong way nearly. You saw that? If you know me by now, you know that's something that happens to me very often. That's that. <laughs> it does. It, it, these three, they match this paper pack, as you can see. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, there we go. And peel off that side. There we go. And the last one. And now we have it perfectly adhered. And we've got this beautiful page. Look at that. Isn't that great? So, what I've got then, I've also got some stars um, cut out of the same set, 
cut out of this shiny paper again. Then I'm just going to put on there, sort of randomly, well, not completely randomly, but... Um, so I really make good use of that piece of paper that I made. And then I've got this piece, which is quite nice because it's two, two stars attached in the middle uh, with a fold line on. And what I will do is I will put that here, sort of a, as a hinge. I will put that on the paper. Come on. Like that. I love that. It looks like a, a starry lock. Thank you. In this case, it doesn't matter anymore, but uh, I keep doing that. So, aren't these two beautiful together? I really think they are. Uh, I like that they are matchy matchy. Love that. So, I've got some more um, um, of these labels with Cozy Days, but this one, for instance, is from the new uh, stamps. Uh, the Jolly is from there. This one is from the new stamps. So I'm going to see. I'm going to put those in here, overlapping like that. So we have the idea of the overlapping here. And we're going to do the same here. First, I'm going to crunch them up a bit more using the uh, frayed burlap again. Thank you, Els. I'm pretty chuffed with them myself, I must say. And the last one. So I'm going to start with putting this one on. I'm going to put some tape behind that. If you have a bubbly thingy dye, you can make Christmas baubles out of this. I don't understand. <laughs> what sort of thingy, thingamabobbly, are you speaking about? I've used the... Yes, what's it called? Bear with me, I'll get back to you. I just have to think about it. Archival. I've used archival ink. Um, yeah, that's the Distress Mix Media Heavy Stock. Um, I've used archival in Vintage Photo and I've stamped here with uh, Walnut Stain. Like that. That's how I want it. Oh, I've already done that one. <laughs> um, I must say, uh, I've used archival because Tim used archival when he demoed them in his three hour uh, but nice demo. Um, But I, I'm going to try it using uh, some other inks the next time. I just got them, so um, still experimenting. So that one's going to go there, and that one is going to go 
right here and then I can always put a picture over it. Now you see that through, I don't care, I don't mind. That's exactly I, the, the Saskia, the ones that were released last year. Um, I know what you mean now. Let me get it. I've got that somewhere. Um, ooh, things are coming to life, kicking at me. Because uh, I can't find it now. I know I've got it because that is actually the very first die set I bought for Christmas. Um, so, uh, but it's the ornament hook, the one that you put on the top. Yeah, I get it now. So, this one is finished as well. There you go, and I can put a picture here. This one is finished as well. Um, and then I want to uh, do something on this page. Now for that I need, is this, no. I need my soft finish cardstock, bear with me guys, I'm, I'm getting it. Because I thought I had it here, but it's, uh, Oh, I do have it here. I'm blind. I'm legally blind. There we go. Because what I want to do, I'm going to trim this. Mm. Yeah, my craft room is, uh, I'm quite lucky, Tracy. But now with this new microphone, you can actually still hear me when I'm walking, which is something to remember, but uh, <laughs> because that could easily go wrong. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, big stamp, which is for the sidekick. And I'm going to stamp that onto the paper. There we go. I'm going to get my Misty out for this because yeah, this is quite a big one and I want to get it right. So take out my magnet. Put this one in. Put this one on. I'm going to put it close to the side that I can easily trim it off. There we go. Well, Denise, <laughs> trust me, mine is as well. And then I'm going to use ooh, the first of my Claire in Nocturne to stamp this. Now, this is also one thing, one of the things that I want to try with these other dies because I've, this ink stamps so beautiful. I'm going to give it a go. I'm just inking it up and stamping it down. Just giving it even pressure with my easy to light. And I'm just going to do that one more time and then it should be fine. I don't mind it being grungy at all. <laughs> oh, sorry, but not sorry, Johan. Um, it, but yeah, it's fun. It's fun to have the sidekick stuff as well. Uh, when I started, I just had the planner stuff and I wasn't bothered, I thought, with the sidekick. But more and more, I'm getting into it. Um, and this is actually my second sidekick that I'm filling up now. Still working on the other one. Um, but yeah, just quickly let me heat set this. And then I'm going to take my trimmer again and going to trim this to size. I just want a little border. I 
I'm just eyeballing it, no measurements. Um, but it does need to be straight, obviously. Sort of straight, David. Well, it's straight enough. And this one. There we go. Now, grunge it up. Great, Joan, thank you. So next week, I'm going to um, have a lot planned because of something else is going to show you on Monday. So um, a lot is going to happen next week. Uh, so I'm going to be posting on Tuesday, posting on, no, yeah, posting on Tuesday, posting on Wednesday, going live on Thursday, going live on Friday with something new. So by the end of the week, you'll be fed up with me and fed up with what I'm, long, with, uh, what I'm playing with, but hey. Um... Put on some tape. Then what I've got is these. I'm going to put this one right here at the top. And I will give you a sneak of what we're doing next week. In a second. Well, the ones for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday are already pre-recorded. The live. Exactly, Femke. Exactly. That's going to be really fun. Well, that's good to know, Denise. So, that one's going to go on there. Then, this one is going to go... It's just for the idea, so I'll just quickly do that with glue. Well, Linda, you can always look back. Um, it's busy, but I love it, you guys, so I really don't care. Now, this week, I will trim off one day, I think, because, well, it's not really about a week, it's going to be about, I'm actually going to trim off two days. Do it like that. Um, there we go. It's more about decoration anyway, so. And she can write some notes, my mom can write some notes on this when she wants to, she like memories of the day. That's the idea why I put this on. Yes, Yona, are you going on holiday? Nice. Absolutely, the stores are fantastic that store the product. Um, yeah, this is what I like. Now I can actually, there. And that's how easy you can really make a fun and quick page. Uh, with all the stamps and stuff we've got from Elizabeth Craft Designs. So, uh, this is something she can write notes on. Um, a tag for both sides for a picture. It's going to be something in here. So let me put that in my planner so that you can really see what it turns out to. Look at that. And especially with the black paper. Oh, I've got to open this. Bear with me. I've got my cropper dial here, so I might as well use that. Wrong here. I have to turn it around. I always do that. David, what are you doing? It has to go like that. Yes. 
then I will have a look at your comments. There we go. Now it fits in there. I just love that and I love how it matches with the black. So we've got a, a page out of this page, which is not a tag page, but I made, a, I made one out of it. This one I kept like it's originally designed, but I love this with the acetate on the back, the see-through. There will be a picture here that will peek through later on. And then on this side, she can make some notes about the day. The red, sort of goldish look. Love it. Love it. So that is the finished pages for today. Um, what time are we? I still have time. So uh, what I'm going to do... This went quick, guys. Because when I was preparing this, I thought, no, nah, I don't think I have time for to do everything I wanted to. Hey, but I have time. By the way, this is what we did in the beginning. And this is sort of what is uh, exactly the same as what I've die cut all these elements out. So this is how it dries. Look at that. If you let it dry naturally, you, you get all this nice effects on there. Um, so I'm just going to let it dry a bit more. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, then, for the sneak peek, I will be right back. Bear with me. Bear with me. Yeah, I'm here. So it's in my planner. Now Wednesday when I was... Uh, I have to look it up because I'm not going to show it all. Um, I nearly forgot to take it out. I really nearly forgot. Um, let me... Uh, what shall I show you? I'm not going to show you all, I'm just going to show you one little thing. And, and it has everything to do with the pocket pages. Uh, remember those? Um, these are the pocket pages. You know these. And they are fantastic when you want to have... Uh, you know my secret hiding place? Well, it's not secret, it's there. Uh, my secret hiding space is down here, actually. Um, those, there are all the dice that nobody wants to see or can see. And this is pocket pages. And that is uh, uh, fantastic. You can use them to make a lot of pages with a lot of pictures, etc. Um, and here's the sneak peek. Let me just say that the, what we're launching next week, what else is launching next week, will um, take out all the measurements from working with these. It's fantastic. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So that was it. That was it. Okay, enough. So you have to watch on Monday to see everything else and everything that's going to be uh, launched with this. But it's mind-blowing. I love it. I absolutely love it. And you're going to love it. If you like the pocket pages, uh, these dies will save you loads of time uh, when you get them. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So having said that, uh, I just want to say thank you for watching me tonight. Uh, thank you for spending your Friday evening with me. I love the pages. I love how they turned out. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment and share to be uh, able to win the $50 gift certificate. Uh, next week, I'm all over the place. I'm at Duoding in Dutch. Uh, I'm going to be live at my own channel and, well, everywhere. You'll find me. Uh, but thank you for having me here. It's always a pleasure to be live at the Elizabeth Craft Designs page. Love Elizabeth Craft Designs. You all know that. So, uh, uh, yeah. Thank you, Els, for having me. Thank you guys for watching and I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you. Bye.